Good morning, and uh, yeah, so we had plans for Animal Kingdom today, and we are skipping them. We slept in, and we are going to just hang out at the pool. We're going to just kind of relax today. Plus, uh, we also have planned the Korean barbecue joint, so uh, that'll probably put us at a better place that, you know, right about, because we're skipping lunch, right about where we're getting really hungry, <clears throat> we can get in there have the, the whole place to ourselves probably because it'll be in a weird time where it's not lunch, not dinner. Let's go swimming! to the right place. Like frog legs you come to the right place. We're here at the Volcano Korean Barbecue and we're making Korean barbecue plus hot pot. So we got the meats going and we're just getting stuff for the hot pot. Pork belly, smoked pork belly, and then uh, pork and, and beef. So you get your hot pot on your bone broth going. You got all your meats ready to go in there. It's a lot of different stuff. And mine's got a kind of a citrusy and spicy. It is very spicy. It's good, but it's very spicy. Yeah, and then I got mine going in, so that should make all the meat pretty Be careful good. Careful to splash back on you. Yeah. And we're getting there. Ooh, ooh. The stuff I fish out of my, uh, my hot pot here. The trick is always dipping sauces. Gotta use your dipping sauces. Versus tending to the grill. I've got the uh, smoked bacon. So we're on uh, round two and a half, maybe three here, Marissa. I think the, the short rib is done. Short rib? As it turns out, I'm almost done. <clears throat> There's still ice cream here. No, shut up. Now some ice cream and, uh, and this. Lunch, dinner was fantastic at the volcano. Server was fantastic. She spent a lot of time with us and really helped us out. So we decided, yeah, let's go to Animal Kingdom, even though that was our original plans. And we didn't know what we were going to do. Well, now we're going to Animal Kingdom. So, uh, it's a three, couple hours left. Yeah, today. it's like about three hours left in the park. And we're just going to walk around and just do whatever we do. We're going to have a bit of a wander, a bit of a bimble, a bit of a mooch. Let's go uh, walk around and, and sweat because it's 95 it's degrees right now. It's hot out here. No one five, not a five, zero three, all of my tech kids are on the board. As you are leaving the parking lot below the solid. Very small rocks. Apples! <laughs> you see a vulture? And a kangaroo? That's a Ten minutes standby. Oh, okay. I don't see that very often. Of course, what a poachers. What a poachers. Poachers. Love and relative about the giraffe. Now, they're very shy, reclusive bam go, though. Hi. It's at a time, but it's honestly very impressive. Because personally, I can't hold everything for one minute. Well, I don't want to eat. So, I'm going to be a flower crown. A crowd of dirty grass on the horns look more attractive for their partners. And we're too busy at a time. Why get the dirty business to sleep per day? Oh, they love each other! That is because of so big. But there is a little solution around that. So, our reserve, they partner across bitch of funds to determine that elephants like bees. A bee stinger is very irritating towards the elephant skin. The farmers put a beehive in the farmland. So their elephant goes to the farm will see a beehive there and keep going in the opposite direction. So they have a bit of a woman sewn that way. And the farmers to keep their crops too. While well, bees get the food, they gave the farmers money to sell for source of income. But it truly was a win win for everyone involved. And that's what you'll see out here in Harambe. I have boys of mingos. I think about five feet tall, they're as tall as the Fango family. And the bright shaped peel of the mingles there too. And also, their ostrich eggs are all of the year too. It's their eggs. Now, eggs are the breed pounds, each of the largest eggs in the world. Hard to help out. And they're one of the few domesticated animals out here on the reserve. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest, Marissa, with uh, his thick Boca Raton accent, uh, I had a little trouble hearing some of it. 
I, I got nothing. I don't, I don't know what was happening. I don't, I don't know what we were looking at. I'm, I'm made of questions. You know what would have been great is if we had... Uh, An interpreter? No, someone, uh, Michael Caine, <laughs> doing it. Did you know the ostrich's eyes? Oh, bigger than his prey. He's just hanging out. <laughs> oh, like, look at these guys, person. You know my favorite, favorite part of this exhibit is? What? It's the scat. It's right there. Oh, no. And again, another virtual walk on here. Hello, I'm Dr. Marsh, director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old way. Okay, so we saw what we wanted to see. It's been a couple hours here. Now uh, back to the hotel, and then we just walk to Disney Springs, where there'll be a dessert name, the likes of which, well, you will see. We'll see in like a few minutes. So we're back at the uh, hotel room and grabbed a soda here and we're going to walk over to Disney Springs. So we're at Saratoga Springs and we're in the preferred section so that means there's a walkway like five minutes to Disney Springs. And Disney Springs is great. Most people don't really get to enjoy Disney Springs uh, that much because if you're going to Disney Springs as a normal guest you probably are doing it because your uh, flight is leaving and you've got something you want to do but you don't want to waste a park ticket. Uh, or you showed up kind of late for the <laughs> for you to go into the park, so you go to Disney Springs. So it's usually the first and the last thing you do, uh, and that's about it. So shopping district, but it's got music, it's got shops, food. You know, it's it's just a lot of fun. And nice thing about being at Saratoga, I was surprised that people didn't buy Saratoga. So Saratoga is a DVC property. We're DVC members. It's basically Disney timeshare. Um, and you can get these points cheap on the resale market still. And I, once Disney Springs got rebuilt up to what it is, I thought these things were going to sell out. Most people don't care for Saratoga. They always call it like the resort of last resort. And it's a shame because it's great. Plenty of pools. You're right near Disney Springs. It's easy to get on and off um, the interstate if you're driving. Uh, it's one of those resorts, if you have a car, it's just... Perfect. It doesn't share a bus. Because you can park right here. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't share a bus. But, you know, my parking, my car's like, I'm, it's right there. You know, nothing to it. And, of course, the walk to Disney Springs. So now your dining options are everything at Disney Springs, right? So there's plenty of celebrity chefs and there's quick serve and there's, of course, all the music. So every night you can have yourself a blast. And these parts, uh, these uh, points on the resale market is still cheap and also these points are low for the rooms so you can get a lot of resort for little points and a little money so like i said i mean there's these in springs you just walk over there plus the smell of steaks for a second i'm wearing my steak cologne tonight eau de filet mm, trying to make our way over to gideon's it's hot cookie hour but it's probably a virtual line which means we're probably not getting in but I'm still going to try. Guess we'll get an idea of how big the line is.
Strawberry scented? Ooh. Oh, it's got all the cute things on it. Smell barbecue. It's good. It's like that Bugs Bunny cartoon where the grabbed you by the by the nostrils and it's gonna. change every night pretty much so a different show of course there's multiple shows also right and there's music inside house of blues music everywhere music outside house of blues as a matter of fact so exciting all right good night everybody we got uh, breakfast tomorrow at Epcot.